CS family, I hope you're all staying healthy while working hard at home. I'm Monica Porter. As your dietitian, my goal today is to provide you with some nutrition tips to keep in mind during this time. My first tip for you is trying to keep as much of a schedule or a routine in place, uh, especially specific to diet. So trying to eat meals as if you were still at your workplace is gonna be super important during this time. Our goal is to avoid grazing. Um, throughout the day because that then leads to unwanted um, excessive calorie intake and then therefore unwanted weight gain. My second goal for you today is going to be um, trying to meal plan. So continuing or starting to meal plan will be helpful um, for not only maintaining your health, but it can also help improve your health. Uh, with meal planning, some easy ways to start is by assigning a a theme to each day of the week, such as Taco Tuesday or Soup Sunday. It does not have to be alliteration, but you know, a theme for each day can really help you get started on you know what kinds of meals you want to plan. Uh, my second tip is going to be keeping a journal or a notebook of all the meals that you've planned week by week. This will help you in the future when you're in a pinch or just really bored with the the types of foods you're coming up with or things like that. It'll help you, you know, get some inspiration from your past ideas. My third tip for you is going to be keeping, um, be mindful of any kind of snacking temptation. So it's really easy when you're sitting at your kitchen table working from home to take those couple steps and go grab a couple snacks or, you know, things like that throughout the day. Um, so my recommendation is going to be take your at-home office away from the kitchen, whether it's setting up in a spare bedroom or a living room or a dining room or basement, whatever it might be. Um, just even being outside of that kitchen can take those temptations away. Another part of this, of reducing snack te snacking temptations, is going to be uh, trying to um, get in tune with your body. So trying to recognize your hunger and fullness cues can really help reduce those temptations. Um, if you, throughout the day, go grab a snack and you actually are feeling hungry, by all means, eat a snack. Just make sure it's nutrient dense. If during the day you find that you're grabbing a snack, but then you take a step back and you realize maybe I'm snacking for some other reason, like boredom, anxiety, stress, something along those lines, what I want you to do is try and refocus that energy to a different task. That could be a different work task. It could be taking a five minute break to do yoga or meditation or go for a short walk. Or it can even be doing a household task like um, washing the dishes or folding laundry. My fourth task, or fourth tip, excuse me, fourth tip for you today is gonna be pertaining to the grocery store. So I know when you're at the grocery store right now, um, things, products are very sparse or things you might want might not be there. Um, so I want you to kind of think outside the box and maybe familiarize yourself with products you don't typically use. That could be, you know, maybe you always buy fresh uh, fruits and vegetables. Maybe you start doing uh, canned or frozen. Um, don't be afraid to explore those. Sometimes they can be just as, if not more nutrient dense um, than some of the fresh produce. So for example, frozen vegetables are actually frozen at their peak ripeness. And so, you know, at their peak ripeness, they're just as nutrient dense as that fr uh, fresh produce there. Another thing with um, other products was, would be exploring some plant protein, because I know the, the um, poultry and meat sections are, you know, hit or miss on what's, what's actually there. So plant protein, such as beans, peas, nuts and seeds, lentils, uh, those are great great, healthy, inexpensive, and easy um, sources of protein to add to meals. Um, so, you know, this might be something that you work towards. It could be dried or canned. If it is canned, just make sure you rinse off those beans or whatever it might be to get some of that excess sodium off. Um, but that plant protein, like I said, anyone that's met with me one-on-one -on -one knows that I'm always gonna encourage plant protein for overall health. So if you think you don't like it, maybe try something new. It might just be how it was prepared in the past. And that actually leads me to my final tip for the day. I want all of you to go to our CCS Wellness website um, as I have uploaded some, hopefully, uh, recipes that you will enjoy. Um, things like a vegetable pot pie, homemade granola bars, even Italian meatballs. Um, and I'm hoping to expand on this as the weeks go on. So you, you know, right now there should be around 10 recipes up there, but as the weeks go on, hopefully I'll add some more. Um, and obviously I hope that you guys have all enjoyed these tips and I hope to see you soon in the clinic.